Mm. I find the amount of waste that we send to the tip from curbside collection each week absolutely remarkable. You know, on average, every Australian house sends 240 litres of rubbish to the tip every week. And for those areas that have recycling bins, well, every fortnight you're sending 240 litres as well. Now, most of this ends up as landfill and it works out to be over 20 million tonnes is being buried in the ground each year in Australia. Now, it is estimated that over 50% of this is organic, which means it can be recycled. And if we did that, we'd take over 13 million tonnes of greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere every year. Kitchen scraps and garden waste when buried in landfill ferment. And as they break down, they produce a number of gases, including the potent greenhouse gas methane, which is 21 times more potent than carbon dioxide. In fact, for every kilo of this type of waste, it produces a kilo of greenhouse gas. Now this is dramatically reduced if it's allowed to break down through what they call aerobic composting. Now a system like this aerobin or via a worm farm is the best way to go. Many places around the country we're quickly trying to find ways to reduce the amount of waste that gets dumped to landfill. These days the trucks deliver the rubbish to waste transfer stations like this CETA environmental site. Here the waste is sifted for any recyclables which are sorted. Currently Australians only have a 48% recycling rate which means we lose so much material to landfill. Now you too can play a part in reducing the amount of waste that goes to landfill by simply taking out all the organic materials and using them in things like worm farms and also compost bins. Now not only is this going to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but it also reduces the actual cost of waste handling. It's a brilliant way to go. Now all you have to do to help out companies like Cedar Environmental who've come up with such a great idea in waste handling is make sure you sort out your waste and that way we're going to be able to reduce the amount of waste we have, recycle most of it, so that we can put it into gardens like this and end up with fantastic produce.